Hey everybody, it's Chugga Conroy. Welcome back to more Xenoblade Chronicles. Last time, we exited the Lake of the Mechanis after having climbed up this high on the body and discovered the refuge of the Machina living up here. This time! Can I just start off by saying that I am very, very happy that this fan never started returning in the other direction and just sucked us right in? And, uh, can I also start off by saying that holy hell, this equipment set for Fiora is amazing! Just that samurai helmet, those like bird talons she has for feet, and just like the spikes she has on her knees. It looks so cool, and just the blue color scheme, it just, it's amazing. It is one of my favorite looking equipment sets there is. It's just so darn cool looking. Anyway though, um, I should probably actually say what we're doing this time. That'd probably be a good way to start the video. This time, we are going into the upper bulkhead bridge, and we are going to be continuing our way through Makana's Field. According to the map, we're almost to the top, and wait! Skipped an item or, but well, I can get this one. Uh, retro diode, come on, there's a specific item that I want. Oh, modern blue gear, I got it! Um, with that, we have actually completed the Collectopedia for Makana's Field. I decided to stop and check to see how close we were, because we were actually getting a lot of diversity in our items up until now, and sure enough, uh, I will not need to try to get any of them. Ricky, I like how you were trying to moonwalk there, even though you don't have legs. <laughs> I might have played with your expectations the first time, but now I'm just gonna jump it as far as I can! We have the high-velocity lift for a story quest. We have to provide power to the high-velocity lift panel. Uh, well, certainly stop me in the middle of some high-velocity, that's for damn sure. And once again, we have Need Power. Apparently, Ricky titled this quest. <laughs> you can tell by the exclamation mark. There are multiple quest objectives. Basically, all we need to do is find these two switches that will deliver power to the uh, high velocity lift. You can see them both on the map right now, and I know that there was an enemy that spawned right behind us right when we uh, got off of that conveyor belt, but I just ran right past it. No need to fight him, we don't need to. However, enemies that we do need to fight. When we were at the Machina Refuge, we got some monster quests, and sure enough, the M66 trick, which is quite frankly everywhere on Makanis, is right here. Might as well kill it while we're here, though. And. If you also recall, Fiora learned a new art, Speed Shift. This grants her haste, making her auto attack more often. Not only that, but it grants her a 25% chance of double attacking every time she auto attacks. Basically, not only are you auto attacking more, but because she uses dual swords, she will auto attack four times when that double attack gets triggered. It's nuts! However, it comes at a bit of a price. Should you use it, you are going to lower your own physical defense by 25%, so you're supposed to not get too trigger-happy with attacking when you have it up, otherwise, too much aggro generated. But, there is actually a workaround for this that makes this art crazy good. If you have a debuff resist gem on Fiora, you actually have a chance of resisting your own ability to debuff your own defense. Yeah. Not only that, but another way that the gems can work very well with that is that if you have a double attack gem on Fiora already, it will just simply add to the chance that you will have of double attacking when using it at stack. So, you can make her double attack chance insanely high, and you know what that means? Not only tons and tons of party gauge, but also tons and tons of talent arts. And speaking of which, there is Gundrons 2, her new talent art that I got for equipping that. See, I got to show off two new arts one after another, working right into it. I sometimes know what I'm talking about. Okay, now, I, I I, guess I shouldn't, like, try to, like, I don't know what I'm trying to say here, though, but I'm kind of saying that since this is my favorite game, I kind of wish, you know, I kind of would hope that I know at least some things about it and know what I'm talking about at least most of the time, but I don't mean to get too into it. Um, I would topple this guy because I have the ability to, but I don't want him to topple spike me. So instead, double wind. And Ryan, I guess he can use a sword drive on him. And he doesn't have any debuffs, unfortunately, otherwise I would use a Say Sorry with a times 3 multiplier. This party doesn't have a lot of affinity with each other, so I wasn't really counting on getting a times 5 multiplier built up, which is why I used up my sword drive right there. But, that's done. We are all good. Took that out, we got our first kill on, a, on an M66 trick. Got some uh, chests right here. And, uh, yeah, those actually would have dropped items for Bazatrox if we didn't do the best boots quest last time, but we already did, so we're ahead of the game. <laughs> Either way, we are getting really close to the other objective, and I was about to pause and switch to Shulk because of Quick Step Gem, and because I don't really have a reason to play as Fiora. Besides, even though I was playing Shulk there for a while, I haven't really played as him much for a while now. Um, I just said a while twice, but you get what I mean. It's been a while since I've played as Shulk last, and I just kind of feel like I should, well, be him because we're climbing the Makanas and he has the Monado. Quite simple as that. I'll uh, we'll go ahead and switch over, and I want to jump off right here. And looks like I lost the chicken rice. Oh, Ricky! 
<laughs> He's spawn grabbing onto the wall, so he won the chicken race. How awesome. We're gonna hit the second power supply switch right there, and you see how I'm illustrating the non-linear nature of this game? I went for the switch labeled second. First. Nice voice crack me. <laughs> so, this area is lin is linear. <laughs> no, this area is not linear. It is symmetrical. So you can guess where the other power supply uh, area is going to be. However, I want to go back to the upper bulkhead bridge. Is it because I just want to ride the conveyor belts again and have a lot of fun? Yeah. But I have an almost as good secondary reason for showing this again. That is that if you have quick step gems and you jump off right at the very <laughs> exact time, you will indeed skip those enemies and they will not notice you. Last time we were here, they noticed me and I had to outrun them for a little bit. You don't need to worry about getting attacked by them whatsoever, which, while that would normally seem like it's pretty inconsequential, those types of enemies do have, like, stat boosting moves and things like that, and that can get a little bit annoying. Either way, we have the revolutionary Bifrons right here instead of an M66 trick. This is a unique monster that we need to hunt for, that challenge quest that we got last time, so let's take him out. Unfortunately for us, he's got some pretty mean spike attacks. Oh god, um, I'm gonna build up my purge against you. Okay, good. And then let's do the purge here. I... I'm actually a little worried. I feel like maybe I should have gone for the other mech on first. Uh, Ricky, if you could topple him, that'd be really nice. I'm actually legitimately scared here a little bit. Let's, uh, let's do a stream edge here. Build up my Minato gear. Didn't build it up all the way. Come on, guys! Let's get it together, Ricky! Heal me! Draw the aggro! Something! Come on! I guess, to be fair, maybe Melia wasn't really the best choice to bring in if I consider she's on the AI. Please revive me. Thank you. Okay. Thank you for encouraging me at the very least. Let's back us to the wall. Guys! This is not going well, like, at all. This is about as bad as it could have possibly gone. We'll do another Aura Seal. And, wow, I am just having the time of my life right here, clearly. Let's... What are you gonna do to me? I really should have gone for the other guy first. I really, really should have. Like, why did I not do that? Uh, morning, Ricky. Oh, wow. Oh, I get to do another heal. Okay, I'll just heal myself then if you just heal yourself. No big deal there. Uh, if I could get a top on, I don't really... The problem is, is that Melia's got the best towel, but she's not going to freaking use it because the AI sucks at using Starlight Kick, so unfortunately I can't really rely on her, even though I normally would if I was playing her. We're going to be here a while. Well, I think we had four total deaths in that fight, but I did win on my first try, even if I, you know, really didn't get to do anything fancy. Uh... Yeah, I don't think this was really the best way to go about it. I probably should have had Dunban in there somewhere, just so he could have, you know, dealt with everything, but I guess I just didn't really have the foresight to do it. Now, uh, I'm trying to, like, think about how exactly I want to go about doing this. Should we go this way? There is another M66 trick, so I guess I chose nicely. However, there is something that I'd like to show. You know how I said that these Mechon had some really wacky names, and we've kind of already seen this? Well, over there is a tentacle Mechon. You want to guess what it's called? Moist. I'm just gonna let that one sit with you while I cut away and do this fight. Ricky! Good footwork! Here upon very cool! Here upon very cool indeed. We'll just take our chest and get out of here. Already got almost all the kills that I needed for Monster Quest. I'm actually very pleased that we got it done this quickly and are you kidding me? Am I in a dead end? Can I really not get there from here? Can I could I jump this? You know what? Let's try it. Going for broke! Oh, wow, I thought I was actually going to die there. Never mind. Um, again, I illustrate why platforming is awesome in this game and how the environment plays a much bigger role than in other RPGs. Love it so much. Let's just get this power supply going. And with two green LEDs, the middle LED gives into peer pressure and turns green as well. We've completed Need Power. However, we have not completed our other objective. Instead, we need to go down there to the center, and I'm actually not quite sure how I'm gonna go about this. I guess I could go back to the conveyor belts, but we seem like we're kind of close enough already that I don't really feel like I need to, so I think I'll meet you guys... Actually, where would I meet you guys? I, I really don't know, actually. I'm kind of... Okay, I gotta admit something right here. This is an area where I just kind of get lost a lot. Not Makana's Field, though, but just this particular area of Makana's Field, this floor. I don't know what it is. It's symmetrical, so you think I would have the easiest time, like, picturing it in my mind's eye, but I don't for some reason. I really don't get why. 
Either way, this is the last trick that we need to kill. Let's just take him out. There we go. We completed that, and for killing three rather easy enemies, we get 35,000 gold. Thank you. Oh, boy. I don't know why I really... I don't know why that was worthy of a voice crack, but apparently I work in mysterious ways that even I don't understand. We'll just go through here, and yeah... I don't know what it is, but I just kind of always get lost whenever I'm going through this particular part of Makana's Field. I'm not really sure what it is, but I just kind of do. We have some more defensive onions right here. I think they're too level to actually... Yeah, they are too low level to even challenge us. Uh, wow. I am actually sitting very pretty at level 62 right now, not going to lie. That's really nice. But, um, okay, actually, no, wait. I got my bearings straight. I am exactly where I need to be, and in fact, I'm in an even better position than I thought because... Should we go over this way? Uh, not that M91 Dogma, that is never a good position to be in, near one of those. We have the Infernal Crow Cell, which is the other one that we need to hunt for a challenge quest. Once we have done this, we have completed all the side quests that are in Makana's Field. Let's do this! One second into this fight, and I'm already regretting not switching the party around, and I really need to take power effect off of Melia. I don't know, like, what else I'd give her, though, but anything would be better than that. Alright, let's get a chain attack going right here. I'm not counting this to last a very long time, because I haven't had very good luck with it, but... I don't think anyone will disagree with me using a backslash there. Let's go for a poison, and I think I'm gonna go for a times three say sorry. That sounds pretty good. All right, there we go. Not a lot of damage. It got blocked, unfortunately, but I got a fourth attack, and oh, I can do a Monado Buster. Well, I don't think there's any question what I'm doing. Let's smack him in the face. Whoa, 75,000 damage. I get another attack. Um, you know what? I can use any color art. Let's do a times five mind blast. I'm just gonna be a jerk to this thing. Could have gone for the Summon Bolt, but nah, 41,000 damage, it didn't get the Art Seal, unfortunately, but oh well. This was... what how oh, Vanity's top... Okay, let's go for the days, come on. Don't get up, don't get up, go... Ah, damn it, missed him by like one sec. Ricky, you topple him again right after he gets back up. Couldn't have done that a second sooner. But oh well. That went incredibly well. Also, 62,000 G, well, thanks, Makina Refugee. You gave me back almost 10% of what I spent on your overpraised equipment. Oh! Um, that enemy dropped something really important. Wow, they dropped an Aura Bullet book. Uh, why is that so important? Well, this is kind of our introduction into being able to, you know, actually get level 10 art books. I know that we had gotten a couple before, but this is kind of our first instance of being able to get them for, you know, not summon bolts. A lot of enemies will drop these art books and, you know, you just kind of get them free of charge. The problem is, is that they're often unique monsters and they won't always drop them, meaning that you might need to save and load repeatedly to even get the monster to spawn, much less get them to drop it. A lot of the better arts do this, and I do have to say, it's not a decision that I really agree with. I kind of wish we could just buy them because it's kind of how a lot of the other art books work, but I guess to be fair, it makes it so that you don't have overpowered arts all the time and it... I guess is a way of balancing it because you're not always going to get the same books every playthrough, but I don't know, just for completionists like me, it's a little bit of a bother, not going to lie. And I'm so bothered by it that I didn't even acknowledge the fact that we reached our quest objective and got the power running to the door. With that, we have completed the high velocity lift, the power plug is connected, and basically we just plug something into the wall, just in a very fancy and very gigantic way. And with that, I am indeed very sad that this will be the last time for a while I get to ride this thing. Well, I don't know. I've ridden a lot of these things. Maybe it has run its course. Maybe it is a good thing that I'm not overdoing it, or else it just wouldn't be as fun. But how many RPGs can you name where you get to run really fast on a conveyor belt in a giant factory like that? Uh, I see five enemies ahead that are right in our pathway. I am not using Shulk for this. Let's switch over to Dunban. I'll have Ricky up there as well, and... You know what? Fiora. Yeah. We'll have the, um the brother and sister, as well as the hero Hom and the hero Pawn, fight together. Sounds like a good idea to me. Let's go up there, and I think you know what tactic I'm going to be doing. It's kind of my new favorite thing to do whenever I see a group of enemies. Like I said, it wasn't that I didn't think this was a good tactic, like some people were saying I, I said. I didn't say that at all. It's just that I didn't always do it, and I guess I just didn't really remember how good it was right away. Uh, if I can get another one... Come on, chain attack. I need a chain attack. I need it. Come on. Chain attack. I really don't want he haste to... Sorry. Um, come on. There we go. Of course, it's just barely too late. I guess I can do it regardless, because I'm in the middle of all the enemies. Let's do it. Oh, half a chain attack already. Oh, boy. How do I want to do this? Uh, double win will get me some more of party gauge. There we go. And Ricky, on your hero time, I think we're going to say sorry. Not as much damage as I was hoping for, but I guess it's not horrible. Go for Blossom Dance. Born in a world of... I didn't even get to the word stride. I should be ashamed of myself, and uh-oh. Uh, this is what I was talking about last time, when I said that dogmas have really mean talent arts. 
That's what I mean. That is enough to kill her at full health, and I don't really have much of a way of dealing with that other than just, let's try to kill him and hope for the best. In fact, actually, wait. No, I, I got a force daze on him. Let's see. Go! Yes! Shatter that vision tag. That was... Oh, man. That could not have been better. Let's uh, chain attack on him, though, just because I don't want to risk that again. Let's go for it. Not quite as good as last time, but oh well. We'll go for another double wind. Ricky, I need you to deliver on the damage. He doesn't have any debuffs, so go for a bitey bitey. Yes! Alright. Okay, I do. I gotta... I don't want to use Blossom Dance right now. That would just be a waste using an enemy with that low of health, because it doesn't change targets mid-attack, unfortunately. Uh, it's the end of that, though, but honestly, I think with that guy... That guy? With that Mechon taken down, I think I'm honestly pretty good to keep on going. I don't think I'm gonna have any more trouble in this fight. I think, honestly, that he was the biggest threat, and I... I'm referring to it like it's a person. It's not a Machina, it's just a Mechon. Use Demon Slayer. Yes! Oh, wait, crap, those are grunts. Uh, guys, come to me. Come to me. Come to me. Wow. <laughs> So much for I have dealt with the biggest threat in this fight. Yeah, my own topple art was definitely not it. Uh, what? If I lose this after what I just said, that would be kind of funny, not gonna lie. Uh, well, Fiora's down again. Come on, Ricky, I need you to heal me. I need healing. I don't want to lose this, thank you. After I just had a really, really good time against that. Let's just force daze, there we go. Okay, I got my Heat Haze. I have my Soaring Tempest, and I can do another Chain Attack! Or I can't. Great. <laughs> At least we won. That was an atrocious fight, to say the least. Oh! Got a vision from the chest! Kazat said he wanted to make a gun that's just right for him. He said he needs two reinforced thrusters, didn't he? Reinforced thrusters! We should take them to him. <laughs> I'm sorry, but that is one item name I can't take seriously. The Collectopedia items I think are funny, and I like them for that reason. That's just one I can't take seriously. Simple as that. Uh, I think I'm going to switch around the party after that, though, because I'm just going to take that as a sign of bad mojo. We're going to have Shulk, Charlotte, and Ryan together in the party. The pseudo-original trio. I can't really call them the original trio now that Fiora has come back. Now that she's within earshot, I think she would kind of... Um, well, let's just say I wouldn't want to get on the bad side of a mech on. Much less a face mech on. <laughs> Worth mentioning while I get on this thing. Do not get on the high velocity lift if you have any quests remaining in Sword Valley or Galahad Fortress. Soon after you get to the top, they will expire. These are all the quests that I have already done. I already took out all the unique monsters in earlier videos and made note of all of them. But here is everything, just in case. But about the lift itself, I'm going to get as close to the edge as possible because I really want to show off just what a cool room this is. Uh, yeah, you can't really look up that high, but I can tell that this room would look awesome if you could just look, like, straight up or something like that. Uh, I, I still really do have to praise the fact that they give you free camera control all the time. I know that that's not always an easy thing to do due to technical limitations, but, you know, even if this isn't the prettiest or highest resolution game in the world, or dare I say, 1080p Nest game, I... Yeah, I, I still really appreciate that they do that, and I feel like it wouldn't be as big of an experience if they didn't do that. Speaking of big experiences... That is about the coolest thing I have seen all week, and that's saying a lot because I've recorded videos in Air at Sea this week. <laughs> well, we are here at the Zabrai Bulkhead, and we're going to step forward. We are where we need to go, at the top of Makanis Field. Are you okay? She looks very tired. Should she not get some rest? Oh, thank you. But really, I'm okay. No. We'll find a safe place to rest. We've hardly stopped since we left the village. Ricky tired too? Ricky tummy rumble? I'm with you. <sighs> Time to park our... Get down! A mech on assault! Can anyone see them? Another vision! Nice one, Shulk! No, it wasn't. Shulk? You did well to evade me. 
just what you'd expect from he who wields the Monado. That voice? It's a face to make up. Is there someone inside? What do we do, Shulk? We fight. But don't kill him. I thought you might say that. After all this time, we may have found him. Let's get this started. This is, I think, a brilliant ending to the area that is Makana's Field. That is because he is at the end of the super long hallway. He has a Talon Art with unlimited range. He can snipe you with a level 4 Talon Art from this distance. So what do you do? You use your visions to know when to hide behind these walls and render the attack useless. This is a really amazing idea for a fight. It's so different from everything else that we've seen so far. Having new purposes for the visions other than just kill this enemy, inflict days on it, or use a Monado art, it is one of my favorite fights of all. And after just having an area that challenges how much the environment, how much bearing the environment can have on your RPG battles, I feel like this is the perfect fight to end such a fantastic location. As for how you want to go about this fight, you're going to want to use your discretion, basically thinking, okay, there's this many seconds till this vision comes true. Can I make it to the next wall or not? We have vision right here. Got a linear laser on Shulk. I'm right near a wall, and I could technically hide behind that, but honestly, I think I'm good to just run to the next one. We have a viola right here that's going to system alert once we get within proximity of it, so we definitely want to take out these first. We do not want to have to deal with multiple enemies at a time, as, as always. I could have technically used Dunban to take these out faster, but this is kind of the only instance of this, so I don't really see it as all that important. And oh boy, I I need to deal with this fast. He got off a linear laser and did paralysis on us. I need to build up a chain attack badly. Like, we are actually in really, really big trouble. Okay, I got it built up. I'm gonna go ahead and use, uh, I didn't mean to lose like Yeah, I meant to use Shadow Eye. I want to take out these offensive, this offensive scout and the defensive counterpart without having to use the chain attack because I want to save that for the face mech on at the end of the tunnel. Check that out. And now we have the offensive honey. Why? What is up with these names? Like, this is such a cool fight. It's just... I don't mean to say the mech on names ruin it, though, but they're just they're so silly. I don't get it. It's just... I don't know. I'm normally for silly names. I mean, heck, I like half the names that we've seen so far on this journey. I shouldn't say that. There are a lot of cool names, but I'm getting sidetracked here. Let's just take him out. And there we go. Now we can move on to the big target. Let's do it. Unfortunately, we have no way of dealing with Aether Arts. We're just going to have to grin and bear it, really. Uh, we can always use a Healing Art to deal with that. I'm just going to try to get past that Viola. Good, I do it. And here we are. Jade Face, level 60. Let's do this. I'm going to open up with Healing Charlotte right away because we're not going to be able to get the Chain Attack off before he gets the attack in. There we go. I'll just do it mid-attack. Cancel it out. And I'm just going to go for the simple Backslash. Charlotte. Oh, wait. It skipped Charla. I think she's cooling down crap. Uh, let's just go for the sword drive. Get a third attack. Good. And I don't think there's any question what I'm going to do here. Monado Buster! Another attack. Rhine time. Let's go for the hammer beat. And another. I don't have any choice. Let's just go for the slit edge. Might not be the hardest fight ever, but it always sticks out in my mind. Shala! Gano! It's you, isn't it? Please answer me! Let me see you! Boyfriend. The destruction of the Monado. That is the will of Lord Egil. Gado? What do you mean, Lord? What's Egil done to you? What's wrong, Gado? Why would you say that? Speak to me, Gado! This world is in disarray. 
I must eliminate the cause of this disorder and restore the world to its original form. That is my duty. Nay, the will of the world. Now, the time has come. The time to restore order. Lady Maynev. It is not far off now. A world in which there is no need for fear. The hour draws near. Our will shall soon be done. First, there is the matter of the Monado. Our victory can only be assured if we destroy the Monado before it's too late. I sense your existence. I know you are alive. Zanza, the hour is upon us. Your time has come.